How to clear the cache files from Google Chrome. Hi there, this is Deborah Sable and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to delete your cache files from Google Chrome. On my screen I have Google Chrome and I use it quite a lot. It's my uh, go-to browser that I use more than any other one. You should really delete your cache files um, I would say at least once a week if you use it, the internet every day which most of us do then you should do this at least once a week more often if you are a heavy internet user but once a week should do it for most people. So from the Google homepage here what you want to do is go up to the upper right hand corner of the screen and right here you have these three vertical dots which typically mean when you click on it more things come up for you. So in this case um, the screen tip says customize and control Google Chrome. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and you get a, a menu of different choices of things to do. What you want to do to get to where we want to go is more tools right here. So you hover over more tools and then you want to choose clear browsing data. So when you click on that, it moves to this page. Now you may or may not see this dialog box uh, come up open on your screen. I'm going to assume that you don't, okay? So uh, just in case that happens. So if you don't see it, then what you would do is go here where it says privacy and security and where it says clear browsing data right here it tells you what that does clear it clears out your history your cookies your cache files and more but don't worry when you click this it doesn't automatically start doing that it just it gives you choices so go ahead and click here and it will open up this um, dialog box and you have two different choices you have the basic okay which is something you can do absolutely um, and you can choose the time range you can clear out all of these things from your browser uh, for the last seven days or try the last 24 hours the last four weeks or for all time in other words it goes back to uh, pretty much the first days that you started using this computer so I'm, right now I'm just gonna leave it on the last seven days and uh, the basic just clears your browsing history. It uh, will delete your cookies and other site data. Cookies are notorious. They they can if you ignore this and you don't ever do it, the cookies the cookies will pile up, and it can really slow down your computer and cause pro and actually cause problems and errors. So you definitely want to do this. Cached images and files, absolutely. You don't want to hang on to any of that. Um, you know, if you found something on the internet that you liked, you either downloaded it or bookmarked it or something, so, and you're not going to find it here. Now you can click to remove any of these check marks, but the default setting typically will have the checks in here, the check marks in here, and you want to leave them in there. So you can click here for clear data, but instead I'm going to click advanced because it offers more choices. And again, the default is to have a check mark in each of these, which means when you click clear data, then all of those will be cleared out. So let's go ahead and do that. Click clear data. Now, depending on how long it's been since you last did this, it could take anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes to an hour or more if you've never done it. Um, I haven't done it in a while, so uh, which is shame on me. But um, so as you can see, it took a while. Uh, it took maybe 30 seconds or so to clear out all of mine, and it's done. When you're finished, you can go back to your browser. My browser is, uh, or, or rather, um, back to the home page for your browser. So I'm going to click the home page for Google Chrome. And there it is. And so I have cleared out the cache files, the cookies, and all of that. And now my computer should run a little bit better.